Hello, Darnell Kindergartners. It's Mr. Silva here, your school counselor. Um, I am here to bring you another lesson about bullying because today we need to learn that third R of bullying. Um, so far, we've talked about the first two. So let's, let's learn a little bit more. So today, we are going to focus on refusing bullying. So again, this is our poster where um, we look at those three R's of bullying. If you look at the orange box, it says recognize, and that's what we talked about already. And then our second box, the green box, it says report. And then our third box, the yellow one, the girl has her hand up, and that is for refuse. We're gonna talk more about what that means. First, let's remember what the first two R's of bullying mean. Our first R is to recognize. We have to know when bullying happens before we, before we can take any steps after that, right? So first, we need to recognize bullying. We need to know that bullying hurts bodies or it can hurt feelings. It's only bullying if it happens over and over again. And if, it's a, if the person that it's happening to can't make it stop. And then we have our second R, which is to report. This is what we talked about last week. So after recognizing that it's bullying, who do we report bullying to? That's right, we have to report it to an adult. Some caring adults that you can report it to are teachers, um, myself, the counselors, even a family member. Remember that in our classroom and at our school, Darnell, we are safe and respectful. Bullying is not allowed. When bullying happens to you or someone else, you have to report it. So the last thing we're gonna talk about is our third R, which is to refuse. So when you practice reporting bullying, you know that it's important to use a strong voice. That's called being assertive. Today, we're going to learn more about how to be assertive when you need to refuse bullying. And that can be if it happens to you or if it happens to someone else. So, that word refuse, what it means is to not let something happen. It means that you say no. Here's our signal to stop. So now you're going to hear a story about Rosa and two of her classmates. Their names are Tio and Lacey. As you listen to the story, I want you to think about what Tio and Lacey are doing. I want you to think if you recognize any bullying and also focus on whether anybody needs to refuse bullying. Hi, my name is Rosa. There are so many things I love to do at school. Ride the bus, listen to my teacher read books at story time, and learn math with these cool counting blocks. But what I really, really would love to do more than any of these things is play space explorers with the other kids at recess. There's just one problem. Tao and Lacey won't let me. It's not because I don't ask nicely, because I do. 
Can I please play with you? I ask. No! Go away, you little weakling. No weaklings allowed in space. The same thing happens practically every day. I have to play, and Tay and Lacey say, No! We told you! No, no weaklings, weaklings allowed! I think Tay and Lacey are being mean to me, but I can guess why they don't want me to play space explorers with them. They think I'm weak just because I need to use a walker. I have trouble with my legs, and so it's hard to walk without it. But that doesn't mean I'm weak. I can move around really well with my walker, and I can play games just as well as they can. I feel so sad and angry every time they call me weakling and say no to me. Today at recess, I stand off to the side, watching them play space explorers again. I'm not getting in their way or anything. When I see them all taking a break for a minute, I go over and ask very nicely, can I play too? No, no, no. You can't play. Besides, how can you play? You're a weakling. You have a walker. You'll just get in our way. We don't want you, weakling. Go away. I'm tired of being left out all the time. I don't want them to keep yelling at me and calling me names that way. It's not nice. It's more than not nice. It's bullying. Bullying is not allowed. I want to say something, but I'm going to need some help. I'm going to find Miss Carter, the playground teacher. I know she wants me to be safe. She'll listen to what I have to say and help me stick up for myself. I go to find Miss Carter. Wait for me, Rosa, Latoya calls out to me. She plays space explorers too. I don't like the way Teo and Lacey are being mean to you. Do you want me to go with you to tell Miss Carter? I nod. Of course I do. When we find her, I say, Miss Carter, I need to report bullying. Teo and Lacey are bullying me. Every time I ask to play space explorers, they call me a weakling and tell me no. That's right, Miss Carter. It's not fair that Teo and Lacey won't let Rosa play and call her mean names just because she uses a walker. Thank you for telling me. You girls are right. What they're doing is bullying. It's never okay to be mean to others. Name calling is not okay. And everyone needs to try to include others who want to play when they can. I'll go talk to them now. Wait, I think I should talk to them. I want them to know that I'm strong enough to stick up for myself and that I'm strong enough to play. So Miss Carter tells me that I need to be assertive. So I stand up real straight, look right at Miss Carter, and practice what I'm going to say using a strong, respectful voice. Miss Carter says she's coming with me. Latoya says she is too. That will help me be brave. Tay and Lacey stop playing when they see us coming. I go right up to them and say, I don't want you yelling at me every time I ask if I can play. It's not fair that you leave me out all the time. It's bullying. I want to be included, and I don't want you to call me weakling anymore either. Just because I use a walker doesn't mean that I'm weak. Tao and Lacey look at each other. Then Tao says, But how can you be a space explorer with a walker? There are other ways to include Rosa and her walker in space. What if Rosa uses her walker as a landing craft? Yeah, then we can all pretend we're roaming around the planet with her walker. Oops, I mean landing craft. Then everyone starts thinking of ways my walker and me can be included in their game, even Tao. He wants to co-pilot my landing craft with me when we land on Mars. How does that sound, Rosa? Sounds great. I can't wait for takeoff, I say, with a great big smile on my face. Latoya tells me that Space Explorers is way more fun now that I'm playing, too. And you know what else? I'm not only getting to be good friends with Latoya, but with Teo and Lacey, too. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to Rosa's story. I want to know, did you recognize any bullying that happened? How did we know that Teo and Lacey were bullying Rosa? I remember a few things. They called her a weakling several times, right? Rosa asked, to play with them practically every day, and Teo and Lacey would say no. Teo and Lacey were leaving her out on purpose. Rosa doesn't get to play space explorers with them, and she wants to. 
and it's not fair for them to be excluding her. And they keep doing it. So how about our third R of bullying, which is refuse. Let's think about what Rosa did to stop Teo and Lacey's bullying. How did Rosa refuse Teo and Lacey's bullying? She rec First, she had to recognize they were bullying her, right? And then she had to report the bullying to her teacher, which is the second R. She did a good job following those first two R's. She recognized and then she reported it. And then she refused Teo and Lacey's bullying by using an assertive voice. And she told them to stop. She used a strong, respectful voice. And she told them that she was not okay with the way they were treating her. So remember, we, we always wanna keep in mind the three R's to bullying. Um, and that will help us know what to do. First, we have to recognize whether it's bullying. Second, we have to report the bullying to an adult, not to our friends, but to an adult. And third, we have to refuse the bullying by telling people, telling the, the bully to stop and standing up for yourself. All right. Great job, kindergarten. I'm so excited that you joined me again, and I will see you next time. Bye.